Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. We all saw Natural Lady Fire do that aloe vera pre poo and we all wanted to try it, including me. But since I'm the kind of person that me and fresh stuff don't really get along, <laughs> I decided to try it side by side with like the fresh aloe leaf on one side and like the store bought all natural, of course, aloe gel on the other side. Because I think Natural Lady Fire was saying that the fresh leaf was a lot better than the store bought. And my first thought was like, well, which store bought are you buying? Are you buying the edible kind? You know, are you buying the 99% pure kind? Like, what are you buying? So I decided to match up the aloe leaf against like a real top of the line store bought aloe gel and just see how they performed against each other. I'm the kind of person that I just got anxiety every time I have to buy something and use it before it goes bad. So I like kind of aloe vera leaves, I wasn't too sure about it. And I guess if it worked out, I would have probably bought a plant. But the one time I bought that leaf and I had that huge leaf across the whole section of my fridge, scaring me half the time looking like a dead snake in there. You know, people are like, what is that in your fridge? And like, you know, it's just a whole lot of drama that a mother and girl sometimes doesn't want to have to deal with. So if you were thinking about trying the aloe pre poo, but you wanted to know if you really had to go out and get the leaf and like what are the pros and cons and stuff like that, take a look at my demo and just see how the two of them stacked up against each other. So I start off by just cutting the end off the leaf and then cutting about one inch sections. This is the gel inside. Then I just cut the sides off. And then I slice each piece in half to expose the gel. This is the amount that I'll be using on half of my hair. Then I use saran wrap just to help seal the exposed aloe leaf to keep it fresh. And I use a napkin to help block the light and again, you know, keep it fresher. So now it's time to apply. This is my hair before and starting with the aloe, I just kind of wipe the excess gel onto my hair. And then I start puncturing to expose gel. So the gel that was just exposed didn't last very long. I had to puncture pretty soon. And I spent a good bit of my time puncturing to expose gel and then applying it. So it did take a while to do all of that. That's the finished section versus the untouched section. And you can see the struggle was very real with those huge gloves that were just everywhere. So once that's done, I just kind of put it back in the little pigtail and that's me completely finished with both sections. And then this is the aloe vera gel from Lily of the Desert. Yes, you see it. <laughs> so this went on a lot easier, it was just a lot faster to apply, no puncturing, I just kind of pour and put. And I did um, use smaller sections as well, I just didn't show that. And that's that section then. So they look almost the same except the side with the real from the real plant is kind of, you know, you can see the aloe. It's not blended in as well. There are more lumps and it was just less liquidy. The side with the aloe from the store, the bottle, was just easy to distribute and, you know, kind of went on smooth. But other than that, my hair looks pretty much the same so far. Because my hair is wiry and it doesn't really get wet and it doesn't really absorb product, which I say like every video. So, yeah. Now I just do my oil pre poo, which you've seen before. Basically, I just kind of get some oil onto my scalp. I don't put extra oil on my hair, but I, there's so much on my scalp that it gets down to my hair when I do the praying hands method. Then I massage my scalp.
And that's it. I just twist it up. But first, let me have a little fun. <laughs> now I'll put on my bonnet and get ready for bed. And this is the next day I'm taking it down. You seeing what I'm see you're seeing what I'm seeing, kind of like my fresh reaction. I'm like looking for a difference. It feels about the same. The side with the Lily of the Desert gel is a little bit wetter because you know the, the gel itself was wetter. The gel from the plant wasn't very wasn't as wet, I guess, as the gel from the bottle, which was a lot more runny. But other than the store-bought gel side being a little wetter, it felt just as moisturized, just as soft, just as everything. Other than the extra water, it looked pretty much the same and felt pretty much the same. So I guess it wasn't a big wow for me. But I guess, you know, I knew that going in because, you know, my relationship with aloe vera is a little bit strange due to my wiry texture. My cuticles are already sealed. Not much is getting in. And my strands are coarse, so not much really makes a difference at least this way I have to like you know add heat and stuff like that humectants and stuff like that to really get moisture in so yeah for me it was a nice experiment good to try but didn't do that much for me so I probably won't be doing it again So that was it. As you can tell, my hair looked really similar in the end. My hair was wetter on the store-bought aloe vera gel side. It was just that just had more water, which I guess for me is probably a bad thing because I don't want my hair to be wet <laughs> overnight, if I can help it. But it definitely spread a lot easier, was a lot faster, was a lot less drama to just open a store-bought bottle and just like use it. As opposed to slicing, cutting, making sure it doesn't spoil applying and hoping that the cut isn't jagged to like tear at your strands, pushing and like trying to release gel. So like if I was to use the plant again, I would probably blend it. But you know, my goddess Snap 25 was like pushing to everybody was like doing that. And I did work, but as you saw, I had a lot of gloves in my hair. Some people said they did not experience that. So maybe my leaf wasn't the freshest. I just got it at the grocery. So that could be the issue there. But it definitely took more time to like keep releasing gel than if you just pat it in a bottle and you could just pour. Plus the one in the bottle can last for like, for me I use it long term let's just say. As opposed to being cautious about the leaf spoiling and the leaf just taking up space in your fridge and looking scary and all of that. In terms of cost, my leaf cost me about 150 and you saw the size of it. And I think you can get about three uses out of that. The store-bought gel was like $7.50 and I think I might get like 12 uses. So the leaf is cheaper and fresher. The bottle is just more convenient for applying. <laughs> but other than that, my results were pretty much the same. So once I was wetter, so I did have to kind of account for that. But in terms of softness and in terms of look other than the actual water, I think my results were pretty much the same. So if you're thinking about trying to pre-poo but you're not really a leaf girl, you can just go ahead and pick up a bottle of the edible aloe vera gel and try it. It just depends on what you want to do. I think for me, like my hair being wiry and ultra low porosity, it didn't really make that much of a difference for me. So my hair was a little bit softer but not my will wasn't rocked or anything. So for me personally, womp womp, it didn't work that well for me. But definitely try it, especially if your hair is a different texture from mine, if your hair is not wiry. And if you don't have like the lowest of the low porosity, then it might work better for you. For me, I have a tricky relationship with aloe vera and it kind of goes on top of my moisture. It doesn't moisturize by itself. Like it goes on top of the water and product as opposed to moisturizing by itself. If you love aloe vera, definitely give it a try. Personally, a little bit relieved it didn't work because it's just like, okay, one less thing that I have to think about maybe doing, <laughs> honestly. So you DIYers, get on it and now you have options. <laughs> So I hope this video was helpful to you and I hope you at least saw some tips and do's and don'ts <laughs> about using the aloe vera gel as a pre-poo and hopefully I gave you some ideas about what might work for you and maybe how to modify it. So definitely blending and straining is good if you're using the leaf. If you're using the store-bought gel, maybe try to put a little bit less or something because my hair ended up really wet. So let me know if you tried the aloe vera pre-poo, let me know if you want to try it in the comments below. And definitely like and subscribe for more content. See you in the next one. <laughs> Bye!